The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing us under of the soul and spirit, and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Welcome once again to our Bible study through the YouTube of the Vic Balbidu Evangelistic Ministry. We are still focusing our study on the problems in life being part of God's plan. This is where we stopped last time. In the Exodus, the Jews saw Pharaoh's soldiers. So when they saw the Pharaoh's soldiers, that was the problem. But Moses saw the solution to the problem. The Jews were victims of the fear panic ploy. Fear and faith are mutually exclusive. Adversity, as we have said, is the outside pressure of life. Stress is the inside pressure of life. Adversity is inevitable. Stress is optional. You see, every believer should take the responsibility for every decision he makes. Also remember, human solution is no solution. Only divine solution is the real and genuine solution. The next point we will take up is the third categorical problem, which is rejection. Well, rejection by our friends, rejection by our loved ones. Now, when you are rejected, what do you feel? The answer is self-pity. Then you become depressed, right? When we are rejected, that means somebody is rejecting us. So there is a rejecter, just as there is a rejectee, meaning discarded, set aside, excluded, eliminated. So there is a problem in being rejected, right? One who is rejected becomes stressed and he feels jilted or dejected. This is destructive to the spiritual life. But if a believer has personal love for God the Father, this is not a problem to him. In other words, the believer needs to have Bible doctrine metabolized in order to avoid being affected when he is rejected in life. In terms of rejection, there is a rejecter and there is a rejectee. It's either you are the rejecter or the rejectee. Whatever or wherever you are, the first thing that should be considered is the cause of that rejection. The cause is the problem. When it comes to problems, you either use God's 10 problem-solving devices or your own human problems device. But remember the principle, human solution is no solution. Only divine solution is the real and guaranteed solution. We have our volition to use, so it's a matter of choice. You must consider this principle. Adversity is inevitable. Stress is optional. A rejectee is the one being rejected. A rejecter is the one who rejects. Now, we believers are admonished by God's word to be persistent, in the cognition, metabolization, and application of Bible doctrine, and let it circulate in the stream of consciousness. You see, 
in the life of a believer, there are many problems that would crop up. And as they hit the believer's life, God's divine assets and divine weapons for him to use are right there in the right lobe of the mentality of his soul. It is for the believer to make the outside pressure of adversities internally and become stressed to him or respond them with the use of God's or God the Holy Spirit's enabling power. Hence, it's all or it all depends on the believer's volition. Now, we have said that there are three stages of reactions. Number one is denial, number two is repression, and number three is projection. You know what? We believers are admonished to be sure we are inside the operational divine dynosphere so that when we make any decision, we are inside the area of strength. Surely, our decision would be right and good. Our reaction to rejection will complicate our life. Thus, forget Bible doctrine to use, we become miserable. Let's not forget one thing in terms of this, impersonal love. When we use this feeling of the Holy Spirit love, your spiritual life continues to be solid and moving forward. Life for the believer becomes complicated when he fragments because of reaction to rejection. Now, what do we mean by iconoclastic arrogance? Well, this means when we have an idol or a role model, then he later on rejects you. We likewise reject him as our reaction. We have already said that there is a problem in being rejected in life. Remember, if there is a rejecter, there will always be a rejectee. Once the rejectee reacts to the rejecter because he has nothing to lean on, nothing to use in his being rejected, he becomes a loser. Thus, the believer needs to have Bible doctrine in his soul. So he would be able to respond, not react, to the rejecter. The believer has to learn, metabolize, and apply Bible doctrine to be a winner in this area of being rejected. In short, he should learn the ten problem-solving devices that God has provided him to use. We have to extrapolate all the doctrinal rationales when facing any problem in life. Yes, there are myriads of problems, be it in marriage, in business, in peers, etc. And we need not react to those problems, but just respond. Respond with metabolized Bible doctrine, like personal sense of destiny, impersonal love, etc extrapolate them and apply the pertinent doctrines to any particular problem. We are going to continue in our discussion on this tomorrow.